Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, I'm going to tell you why you should start learning React as soon as possible and not spend too much time on JavaScript. But before I do, my name is Paul and on this channel, I talk about switching careers into web development late in life. So if this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. Before I tell you my reason why you should learn React, I'm not saying that you should not learn JavaScript, but what happens a lot of times is that you're gonna spend a lot of times trying to continue learning JavaScript and you end up getting into this procrastination through learning. You're gonna feel like you don't know enough. And the problem with just spending time on vanilla JavaScript is that it's not going to give you enough tools to be able to create completed projects that are worthwhile for your portfolio. Now, of course, you could use JavaScript to make a simple weather widget or a simple example or add some basic functionality to a static website. But when it comes to building apps that have a lot of functionality, you really need to lean on a framework like React.js. And the three reasons for this, number one is that React helps you to be more effective and efficient. You have a great framework that allows you to build applications much faster than what it would take you with vanilla JavaScript. And in a few minutes, I'm going to show an example of a simple app using vanilla JavaScript compared with the same exact thing written with React. Number two, at the job that I currently work, I hardly write any vanilla JavaScript. It is all in the context using a framework like React.js. So when I go to work and spend eight hours working, it is coding in React.js. Yes, you are using some JavaScript, but it's all on the context of React.js. And number three, just because you're learning React doesn't mean you're not learning JavaScript. If you get stuck and you're not sure how to do something, you could always backtrack and look things up on Stack Overflow or do some additional research. But the goal here by learning React, you're actually getting to the most important part, which is being able to build great portfolio projects that are significant. Because at the end of the day, no one wants to see a to-do app or a little weather widget on your portfolio. They wanna see a full-fledged application that works and has rich features and functionality. At the end of the day, you're doing this to get a job. And learning a front-end framework like React React, Angular, or Vue, in my choice, I pick React, will get you there faster. At the end of the day, when you're going to get hired or if you want to be a freelancer working out for yourself, your goal is to be able to go from an idea to a finished product as quickly as possible. And that is just not going to happen just knowing vanilla JavaScript. So I'm not saying don't learn vanilla JavaScript. You should have at least one course that you completed. And I always recommend Modern JavaScript by Brad Travesty on YouTube me. It's an amazing course and it's the one that I completed from start to finish. And in my opinion, if you understand 80% of what he talks about in that course, you are ready to move on to React. So if you understand basic JavaScript syntax, you're comfortable working with functions, objects, and arrays, you're pretty much all set and ready to go. One of the biggest mistakes I made was constantly tell myself that I need to learn more JavaScript. And what you end up doing is being stuck in this procrastination through learning. You never get to a point where you actually build anything of substance. So I really want you to, if you're going to get one thing from this video, is that you have to force your learning by moving forward because you could always backtrack. But if you're taking your time right from the beginning learning something, then and you never push yourself to get to that next level, it's just going to be very difficult. So in my opinion, once you complete one or two JavaScript courses, you understand basics of JavaScript jumping into React. Some people might argue with me, but I tell you, I got my job as a React developer because I was able to code in React. And you know what? After I got my job, I continued learning JavaScript and I learned more at my job working there for 11 months now than I did for the past two years not being employed and studying on my own. So the goal for you guys, and I can't stress this enough, is get to a point where you could build something in a technology that's in demand so you could get that job and you will always be able to go back and learn the things that you're missing. So with that being said, let me jump to my computer and show you two apps, one with vanilla JavaScript and one using React that I quickly made just to show you how more efficient and effective your productivity will be using React.js. Hey guys, welcome to my computer screen and you see we got What Would Kanye Say, which is a very simple app that I created using vanilla JavaScript that uses 
Kanye.rest. It's a great API that's very easy to connect to. So if you're learning about how to get data from an API, this is a fun one for a project that you could use. So here's the app. If I click Kanye says, I love sleep. It's my favorite. And it'll give you a quote and it'll even say it. The world is our office. And what I'm using here is voice RSS API to get it to transition my text, my message that I pass into speech. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to mention, if you're curious, you could look this stuff up and build a similar project yourself. Hey guys, don't worry if you don't understand all of the code, but I'm gonna quickly fly through this. The point of this is not for me to show you how to build this. We could do this in another tutorial, but for me to show you the difference between doing something with vanilla JavaScript and then using React, which you will see the benefits in just a little bit. So here I have my initial state. So when the app reloads, you will see that the initial state is what you see here. Then I created some HTML element component functions that basically allow me to construct my view that I have here very easily. So instead of doing every component individually, I could use this function to create my HTML elements like P tags, H1s. This allows me to create buttons and this allows me to create containing elements like a div, or a side or a main, anything that would have children, like an unordered list. And again, you don't need to worry about what this does. They're very simple, but more importantly, this is what I use to easily allow me to generate my view. So this code here, you don't have to understand it, but it basically generates this view that you see here. We have this update function. Basically what this does, it listens to an event. So when I click Kanye says, it's going to return get quote, which is the ID that I gave it. And the switch statement, when this matches the button's ID, which is get quote, it will fire this get data function that basically will get the next quote from the API. And this is the function itself, which basically connects to Kanye West REST API and returns the data I'm looking at. And here we have my main function, basically, which handles all the functionality that is required to update this message every time I click the button. So if I click the button, it updates the state here and it updates the view and updates the HTML dynamically with JavaScript. And basically this just takes that new state, appends it to our root node, and we are able to see this on screen. And this bottom code is just additional code to allow the voice RSS to translate our text into speech. And again, it doesn't matter. The most important thing to realize here is that this is vanilla JavaScript and it is basically 144 lines of code. And it works and it's great. Now let's look at the React side of things here. Here's the React app, functions the same way, everything works, and oh, that's it. We only have 49 lines of code to accomplish the same thing. So I had to write 100 lines less of code to make this app work. So I have the audio turned down here, so you're not gonna hear the code, but when I click this, see, it works the same way. It basically functions exactly the same way, except it has additional benefits. On the JavaScript app, whenever I click the button, everything gets re-rendered. It re-renders the main container div, it re-renders this containing div, it re-renders the button, it re-renders the message. It basically re-renders every JavaScript component that is here, where on the React side of things, it will only re-render the things that change. So it's smart enough to know that the background didn't change, the button didn't change, it only was the message that changed, and it will just re-render this HTML node. So number one, it's being very performant and very efficient. And that's the benefit you get with React. And if you wanted to do something like that on your own with vanilla JavaScript, good luck. It will take you a lot of coding to accomplish that. I mean, React has done it for you and that is why you're able to build quick and fast projects. My JavaScript example probably took me like an hour and a half to do because I type slow. This literally took me five minutes to make. And if you look at the quote, we have our original state and we basically created two components here, React components. We have this main app function, which handles all of our data fetching here, and it returns our container into which we're passing our message 
and uh, get data on click function and again don't worry if you don't understand it i'll also make a tutorial making this as well so you guys could learn more to to it and we basically have this content container which we have here and basically it has an unclick event when you click the button it will fire and react basically does the rest so the point is it's not the code that you should pay attention to i will do tutorials let me know in the comments if you do want to see these tutorials i will make them for you guys they're very simple very beginner friendly but i wanted to show you this difference between here we have 53 lines of code took me not even 10 minutes to write and then here we have vanilla javascript here some people will say well your comments take a lot of lines well yeah whatever i don't care but the point is that i'm striving here at on average you're literally writing 100 lines of code more using vanilla javascript so coming back to my point using react not only are you writing less code you also have efficient way to render things on screen handled by react where you're not re-rendering every html element on every re-render you're only re-rendering things that change and that's the beauty of react so with that being said i hope you see how much better it is to code with react and the three reasons that i gave you earlier they apply here but the most important one it will get you to being more productive more effective when coding bigger projects which will in turn allow you to build better portfolio projects and allow you to get your job that much faster hey guys i hope you like this video let me know in the comments below your thoughts or some suggestions that you want to see if you like like the video if you hate it hate of course but let me know in the comments what i could do better because my ultimate goal is to provide content that you guys could enjoy and learn from and if this is something that interests you consider subscribing because your support and your love always helps me to be motivated and make these videos for you so until next time i'll see you guys later